We want to thank you for coming to Aircraft Simulator Training for your insurance, your recurrent, or any advanced twin engine or cabin class turbocharged training. Uh, we want to explain to you if you're here for insurance or recurrent training or any advanced training that we are not your standard training facility. We're not going to check boxes and go through a list and say, well, you're qualified. What we teach is primarily emergencies in the SIM. We're going to teach you 40 to 45 and maybe more emergencies that have happened over the years to aircraft that have caused serious accidents. One of the things we look at is single engine loss. What we have found out is that most people cannot handle a single engine loss based on what the FAA teaching is. And that's if you lose an engine, say at 200 feet, everything forward gear and flaps up, identify, verify, throttle, gas mixture, alternator, go to the field. If you do that at 200 feet, you're going to probably lose the airplane. You may even lose the airplane at altitude. By the way, if you lose an engine at altitude, we're going to show you the way you turn the airplane back into the airport, which is not what you were taught. Remember, you don't have to accept any of the things that we tell you. We want to tell you why we do these things, why we teach these things, and we'll give you an example of what happens if you don't do it. You know, we need to go back to about the early 50s when the FAA set up this training. This training was set up with pipe planes like a Piper Apache, which was 160 horse, carbureted, barely handled two people. Then we got into the twin Cessna, early 54, 240 horse, four seats, and then later a twin Bonanza. And what happened was those planes were very simple. We're looking at even the twin Cessnas of the 58P Barons or the Navajos. We do a lot of Navajo training. These planes are advanced. Even though they could be 50 years old, they were advanced as compared to what the original training was in the 50s. We're going to show you things about Blue Line and VMC that we think will change your attitudes on how you handle a single engine loss. The other thing that we're going to work on, and we divide this as a requirement, is ground school into these turbocharged and complex airplanes. We're going to teach you what a mechanic pilot would understand or do in an emergency. You've got to remember, if you have a problem at altitude with passengers, your pucker factor is going to go through the ceiling. They think you're the best pilot since Charles Lindbergh, and you may be. But if you're a 600-hour pilot coming out of a Duchess or a Seminole or a Seneca, and you're buying a 421C, you're in a whole new world. By the way, did you know there's an emergency brake on these airplanes that if you end up with a brake problem on the runway, that if you act like we're going to show you, you can stop these planes earlier? And it's been used, and it has saved airplanes from going off the end of runways. This is what we're going to teach. And then once we get you pretty well up to snuff in the sim, we're going to go out in the hangar and look at our airplanes. Yep, we've got a 421C and a 340 sitting in the hangar. We fly and teach in these airplanes. We want you to go out to the hangar. We're going to have the instructor show you things on these airplanes you probably have never thought about. How to maintain them. How to preventive maintenance is done on these airplanes. How to keep them up to, you might say, snuff. We want them to be ready and for you to make sure your passengers are, are safe. So that's what our training is consists of. And by the way, our instructors are airline instructors, military instructors, and they're instructors who've also flown general aviation. I get to listen to these instructors work in the sim with these pilots, and it still amazes me the quality. You might go to our webpage, we'll tell you who the instructors are. These other facilities, they may have an instructor today that doesn't even know the airplanes and he's reading out of a book. We've had people tell us that they've gone to some of these other facilities and got up the second day and walked out. The instruction was so bad. We don't want that. We want you to learn safety. Our courses are about safety. So thank you for coming to AST. If we can help you in any way, please let us know. And by the way, we're going to give you a 90 plus page handout that's going to be detailed problems in these airplanes. It's not a POH. It's problems that we've seen over the years. And for me, it's like 55 years and little things that'll help keep you out of trouble. Again, thank you for coming AST, and we look forward to training you.